because of time, let me begin by saying thank you so much for coming. I understand now, from now, Baba Karadi is by force. Pastor Chega is by force. They invite themselves. Mine is going to be a bit short, but it's going to be very important. First of all, I really want to thank God for each one of you getting the time to come. We want to lift our hands above our heads. We welcome many people all over the world who are watching us through live stream right now. Come on, let's give Jesus a night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's all be seated. Thank you, bishops, overseers, pastors, leaders from all over this nation and even from Tanzania and other places. We really want to thank God. As a family, once after a while, uh, the sons decided that once after a while, they want to come home. So this time we are here. I think it's in June we are in Bale. And uh, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. I want to show you something that is very important. And the presiding bishop alluded to it when he spoke here. That what you are seeing here is very, it's a very small picture or representation of what God wants to do down there. And my, my take this morning is to show you how it will flow down there. How apostolic grace flows down to the, you know, to every single person in the family. That's what I want to show you. And I believe with all my heart that something will unlock today. I'll say that again. I believe with all my heart something will unlock today. That's why we are here. I was talking to the overseers yesterday and I told them there is a place in the spiritual realm, I don't know, there is a place where the flow has stopped. As I was praying, or I have been praying, I the Lord instructed me today is the day that unlocks. Did you hear what I'm saying? Did you hear what I'm saying? Listen to this. Beginning from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I want to read verse 9 and verse 10. You can either follow us through the Bible, your Bible, or through the screen, or through your mobile phone, whatever. The Bible says in verse 9, I'm leading in NIV. For I am the least of all the apostles, and I do not even deserve to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church. This is Paul speaking. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. I, and his grace to me was not without effect. Note that word. His grace to me was not without effect. 
there are times that grace can just bypass you. But in the case of Paul, it was very effective. No, I worked harder than all of them. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. He worked harder than all the other 11 apostles that were with Christ before, I mean, he came, before he came in. He says, no, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Listen to this very carefully. Everything Paul did, he did because of the grace he tapped from the chief apostle, Jesus Christ. I will say that again. Everything Paul did, I want to remind you of, you know, Paul meeting with Jesus in person. That's in Acts chapter 9. And he comes and says, everything that I did, all the revelations that I have gotten. And I want to remind you, this is the man who wrote about two-thirds of the New Testament. All the revelations, all the churches that I started, the missionary journeys that I went, I did that because I Tapped the grace from the chief apostle, Jesus Christ. There is something he tapped from there. I'll say that again. There is something he tapped from there. Just like you know, Elisha did twice the miracles of Elijah. Because there is something he tapped from that man. And what I want us to do today is to see how that tapping takes place. This will help us very much not only to have some taps that are cocked or got blocked somewhere being unblocked, but it will help you and me to be in a position to have the potential to do exceedingly far above anything you see here. And listen to this. I really, I really appreciate the grace upon the presiding bishop. Uh, you know, even him telling you right from the beginning, what you are seeing here, if this screen is two point something million, yours, you will buy five million cash. Easy. Why? Grace. He says I'm not even qualified to be called an apostle. So, can you take away your qualifications? He says... When it, in, in fact, I persecuted the church. Pastors, pastors, now, can you give him a nice hand clap? He has the pastoral anointing. He, he can remember we have people who have come even from like Tanzania or other places and we are speaking a foreign language. Come on, give him a nice hand. What am I talking about? The Bible says Biblia Sema. Paul comes and says I am not even qualified to be an apostle. 
because number one, I persecuted the church. My background is horrible. I am not qualified. And there are, there are many reasons that you give yourself as to why you are not qualified. But I come to tell you the grace of God qualifies the unqualified. I will say that again. It will qualify the unqualified. I will say that again. Because right now, you have so many reasons as to why you cannot go far with God. You cannot go far with the ministry. You, you, you cannot buy this or the other. You cannot have this or the other. But I want to say to you today, as a minister of the gospel, Paul says, I was not qualified. Mimi siku itimu. Because Kwa sababu, I persecuted the church. Ilitesa kanisa. I had no connection siku na unganiko. that would help me to do ministry. Nisaidia kufanya uduma. Listen to this. Nisikilize. I had no connection siku na unganiko. because I persecuted the very people who would help me do ministry. I was not qualified because of my background. I was not qualified because I had no connections. But when I met Jesus Christ who is the chief apostle and then I tapped the grace I tapped into his ability. Listen to this. The grace of God gives ability where we have inabilities. I tapped into his ability. I tapped into his power. I tapped into his wisdom. I tapped into his revelations. When I met him, and I tapped something from him, I have been able to do more than all the other apostles. I have been able to travel the farthest. I have been enabled to start a more, many, many churches in many regions. Paul says, when I met the chief apostle, I tapped to something that has enabled me to do exceedingly far above all the other apostles. Utenda zaidi kupita wale mitume wengine wote. The grace of God distinguishes you out. Neema ya Mungu inakutofautisha kati ya wengine. It gives you an edge. Inakupatia utofauti. I say many times in this house we have an anointing beyond competition. We have grace that is beyond competition. And I want you to see this. It is very important. Paul is saying I did much more than Everybody else before me. I did everything. I did much more. 
than all the other apostles. Wale mitume wote. The grace of God Neema ya Mungu will qualify the unqualified. The grace of God Neema ya Mungu will complement it will come in Itaingia in all your inabilities kwako so that the ability of God ili uweza wa Mungu can make you do whatever he wants you to do. And the grace kufanya. of God Na neema ya Mungu will distinguish you up. Ita kutofautisha. Come on, listen to this. Na nisikilize. And I'm prophesying. Na tabiri. Hear the word of the Lord. Right here. Sasa hapa hivi, in this house. Hii, we have individuals. Watu binafsi, who will have churches. Na that this nation. Ili, and the nations of the world. Na will talk about. In this house. Katika nyumba hii, I'm not saying outside there. Si semi kule inje. I'm saying right in this house. Nasema katika nyumba hii. Right now. Sasa hivi. That's why you have come. Diposa mumekuja. So that we can teach you. Ili tuwafundishe. How you can tap into the apostolic grace. Jinsi muneza kuteka kutoka kwa neema ya kitume. It's very important. Sana. It's very important. Sana. Because once that grace starts to flow, Mana ile kutiririka, listen to this. Sikiliza. There is no limit. Hakuna kiwango. How many people were in, in Bali the other time when the river started flowing? Mbale wakati mto kutiririka? How many people are there? Wangapi pale? Come on, tell your neighbor. Yako, it's still flowing. Bado when we came back, Bishop, Tulipo rejea askofu, what amazed us ilicho tushangaza, is God telling us ni mungu the river now mto sasa, starts to flow inaza kutiririka, from this altar. Kutoka kwa hima dabau. And what we have seen from that time, it's amazing. As a house, kama nyumba, and as individuals. Na kama watu binafsi. I want to show you how you tap into the apostolic grace. Jinsi ya kuteka kutoka kwa neema ya kitume. Go with me to the book of Romans. Kitabu cha warumi. Chapter 13. Sura yake ni ya kumina tatu. And I'm going to read. Na nitasoma. Verse 7. Mstari wa saba. Watch this. Walia hii. Bishop, your word is coming to pass sooner than we know. Naskofu neno lako linakuja kutimia kwa haraka sana. Because. Kwa sababu. We will require tents to go to the field very soon. Very, very soon. Verse 7. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Lipa madeniyote ulionayo kama ni kodi, ulipe kodi. Kama ni yeshima, ni yeshima. Now, let, 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 let's go slowly by slowly. I'm coming close to you. Wacha tuende pole pole, I want to come close to you. Nataka kuwakaribia. Why do we pay taxes? Bona tunalipa kodi. We Amba pay ushuru. taxes tunalipa ushuru. so that the services can continue to reach us. Ile, ile huduma ipate kutufikia. I'll say that again. Itarudia kusema. We pay taxes. Tunalipa ushuru. So that the government. Ili serikali. Whether it's the national or the county government. Ama iwe ni serikali ya kitaifa ama ya county. Can continue 
giving us the services. In other words, so that the services can continue to flow and reach us. Yes or no? Yes or no? For the grace of God to flow Two things are important. Give honor to whosoever honor is due. Because Hebrews chapter 7 verse 7 the lesser is blessed by the greater. Coming slowly. Pole pole. For the grace to flow, neema our honor to God first. Yetu kwa mungu ni kwanza. The fear of the Lord. Kumcha mungu. Living in the fear of the Lord. Kuishi katika kumcha buwana. In reverence unto God. Kumcha buwana. Living holy. We honor God first. But the Bible tells us God is up there. Mungu yuko kula ju. Uh, uh, the Father is up here. Baba yuko kula ju. Jesus has come. Yes, you as the chief apostle. Kama mtume mku, but then at the same time. Na pia wakati ule ule, in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Katika wa Efeso sura ya nne, he gives us apostles. Ame prophets. Mitume, evangelists. Manabi. Pastors. Teachers as gifts. Wainchilisti walimu wachungaji kama vipawa. And we give them honor and the grace continues to flow down. Tunawaeshimu alafu neema inendelea kutiririka. I'll say that again. Itarudia kusema. You can only tap from what you honor. Unaeza ukateka na ukapokea kutokana na kile unachokie shimu. That's it. Hiyo. That's the kingdom principle. Hiyo ni kanuni ya ufalme. That's why we have overseers. Diposa tukona waangalizi wa maeneo. We give them their honor. Tunawapatia heshima yao. That's why we have pastors. Diposa tukona wachungaji. We give them their honor. Tunawapatia heshima zao. We have the presiding bishop. Tuna ask of him some mercy. I mean, we give him his due honor. Na tunampatia heshima yake na yosahili. Listen to this. Sikiliza. Because kwa sababu where honor stops, grace stops. Mali heshima inakomea, neema hukomea pale. No matter how much you pray. Aijalishi unaomba kiasi gani? No matter how much you fast. Aijalishi unafunga kiasi gani? No matter what you do. Aijalishi unafanya nini? I'll give you wisdom you cannot buy with money. Hapa hekima hamwezi mkadunua kwa pesa. Where honor stops. Mali heshima hukomea. Stops. Neema hukomea pale. That's why in the book of Mark 6 Diposa katika kitabu cha Mariko 6 Jesus is in his hometown Yes yuko katika mji wa nyumbani They start saying uh, you know the son of Mary Wanaanza kusema mwana wa Mariamu We know his brothers Tunajua ndugu zake Listen to this Sikiliza We know him very well Tunamjua tunamfahamu The Bible says Biblia sema Grace Stopped right there. Nema ilikomea pale. Jesus would not do any miracles there. Yesu hangefanya miujiza pale. Not because he did not have the power. Sio kwamba hakuwa na uweza. And listen to this. Na sikiliza. I'll beseech you in the name of the Lord. Ina wasihi katika jina la buwana. Word of faith. Na kanisa la word of faith. Every single gift is within us. I'll tell you now. 
Nitawambia hivyo. Every single calling is within us. Mito kila aina ya mwito iko ndani mwetu. Here, hapa. And I'll tell you now. Nitawambia sasa. Right now. Sasa hivi. The only thing we need. Kitu kipekee ambacho tunahitaji ona to soever ona is due. Heshima kwa yule anastahili heshima. So that the grace can continue to flow. Ili neema iendelee kutiririka. I am not talking about personality cults. Mimi sisizungumzi kuabudu mtu ama mwanadamu. I'm not saying we be worshipped. Mimi sisemi ya kwamba tuabudiwe. Oh no. La far from that. La si hivyo. But I want you to hear me. Nataka munisikilize. Where honor stops. Mali heshima inakomea. Grace stops right there. Neema hukomea pale. Hear me. Munisikilize. I remember going to Rongo one time. Kumbuka nikienda Rongo wakati mmoja. And you know what I had people do? I hope they stopped. I hope they stopped. I, I told them. You cannot be calling, you know, Mrs. Alaka. The wife of your bishop. Mama Boy. can be that way. That boy has a name. It's not just mama, another boy. I will tell you now. Where honor stops. Grace stops. Number two. Follow this. Where honor is upgraded. Mali heshima inainuliwa. Grace flows to a bigger extent. Neema utiririka kwa kiwango kikubwa. I'll say that again. I have gone myself, not anybody else. I have gone to places to preach, or, you know, all over the world, whatever. And after the meeting, I go to the hotel, I sit down, and I wonder whether I'm the one who was preaching there. Because of the flow of the grace, the giftings, the anointings. Kwa sababu ya mtiririko wa neema, mito, kipawa. It used to disturb me. Huwa ilikuwa inanisumbua. Until the Lord told me. Hadi buwana lipo niambia. Where honor is upgraded. Mahali heshima imedaminiwa. Grace is also upgraded. Neema pia inadhaminiwa na kuinuliwa. It's a fact. Ni kweli. I know you pray. Inajua mnaomba. I know you have continually been upgrading your prayers. Najua mumeendelea kuzidisha maombi yenu. Now, can you turn to your neighbor and tell him Upgrade your honor. Have you ever known you will never prosper beyond your giving? I'll say that again. What is giving? Is an expression of honor. That's why we bring our time. That's why we bring our offerings. We want to bless God. Because he has honored us 
to give us what he has given us so we come to honor him with our substance maana umetunuku kutupatia yale mtubariki nao sasa tunakuja kumheshimu na mali zetu and you never prosper beyond your giving na hauwezi ukafanikiwa zaidi ya kutoa kwako can i help you yeye nikusaidie you never prosper beyond your honor hauwezi ukafanikiwa zaidi ya heshima yako is that simple ni rahisi hivyo is that simple ni rahisi hivyo and that's why ndiposa in a ministry like this huduma kama huu we will never manipulate you hatutawafijili ama kuwalazimisha because we can we, we can manipulate you easily tunaweza tukawalazimisha kwa urahisi but it will not help you lakini haitakusaidia no haitakusaidia are we together je tuko pamoja tell your neighbor mwambie jirani yako you never prosper beyond your honor hawezi ukafaulu zaidi ya kiwango chako cha heshima yeah ndio is a fact ni kweli is a fact ni kweli is a fact ni kweli the bible says biblia asema we pay taxes tunalipa ushuru services flow to us na huduma inatufikia now forget about the corrupt guys hebu sahau wale wa fisadi but listen to this lakini sikiliza the more taxes we pay vile tunaendelea kulipa ushuru the better services we will have tunaendelea kupokea huduma bora are we together je tuko pamoja are we together je tuko pamoja are we together je tuko pamoja listen to this sikiliza I tell people naambia watu if there is anybody who knew this secret kama kuna mtu ambaye alijua siri hii is a young girl by name Ruth ni msichana mdogo jina lake Ruth she tells a very bitter woman anamwambia mwanamke aliyejawa machungu you deserve to be my mother in law wewe unastahili kuwa mama mkwe wangu Well whether you will give me another husband or not hata ukinipa mume ama usinimpatie mume that's not the issue hiyo sio jambo but i'm sticking with you and i'm here to serve you to honor you kwa bani nakana wewe na niko hapa kukutumikia na kukuheshimu how many know she prospered ngapi wanajua alifa alifanikiwa how many know she prospered ngapi wanajua alifanikiwa anybody here je yote hapa anybody here je yote hapa Listen to this. Sikiliza. The battle we are fighting in the church today worldwide. Vita ambayo tunapigana nao kanisani dunia nzima is the battle of dishonor. Ni vita ya kutoheshimu. Because the enemy knows. Ana adui anajua. You never go be, you will never prosper beyond your honor kwamba hauwezi ukafanikiwa zaidi ya kiwango chako cha heshima. Honor to God heshima kwa Mungu and honor to whoever honor is due na heshima kwa yule anayestahili heshima honor to whoever is above you heshima kwa yeyote aliye juu yako is anybody here je yote yuko hapa is anybody here je yote yuko hapa we are here tuko hapa and i am very much convinced na nimeshawishika sana bishop skofu it will unblock today tutaifungua leo today leo it will unblock it, today itafunguliwa leo today leo today leo number 2 ya pili respect to whoever is respect it is is due ah uh, heshima kwa yule anayestahili heshima I know the two words mean the same in Swahili. Najua hayo maneno ni sawa kwa Kiswahili. But let me explain to you. Wacha niwaeleze. Look at me carefully. Muniangalie kwa makini. Honor goes upwards. Heshima huelekea juu. But listen to this. Lakini sikiliza. Respect goes horizontally and downwards. Na hiyo heshima ya respect inaenda chini na inaenda kwa usawa and there are four pillars of respect na kuna nguzo nne ya hiyo heshima 
respect. Heshima. I know we have Swahili teachers. Give us that word. Respect. Walimu wa Swahili ilo neno respect kwa Kiswahili. Good. Kucha. Santi. I knew. Nilijua. I told you every gift is here. Najua tukona vipa wabiyote hapa. Did you hear what I'm saying? Ya melisikia vile nasema? That word. Ilo neno. Ucha. Ucha. Ucha mwalim. That one goes horizontally. Ilo neno kucha li naenda kwa usawa. And downwards. Wenda chini. Honor. Heshima. Goes up. Naenda juu. If you want that grace to continue flowing. Ukitaka. Hiyo neema yendele kutiririka. Be a man or a woman that deserves respect. Uwe mwana ume ama mwana mke anayestahili kucha. Now listen to this. Nasikiliza. Respect is earned. Kucha ni kitu wabao naifanyia kazi uli upoke. Is anybody hearing me? Jeyote ananisikia. Is anybody hearing me? Jeyote ananisikia. Ona. Heshima. Doesn't need to be earned. Hai staili ifanyiwe kazi. Honor is positional. Heshima iko na nafasi yaka macheo chake. But when it comes to respect, it is earned. Kucha unaifanyia kazi. Your parents do not have to earn your respect or your honor. Wazazi wako hawaitaji kufanyia kazi heshima. No. Hapana. It is theirs. It's positional. Hiyo heshima ni yao kwa cheo chao. Now watch this. Sasa angalia hii. Four pillars. Nguzo nne. That will help you to walk to earn respect. Respect. Ambaye itakusaidia kutembea kufanyia kazi ili upoke kucha. And that respect will make that grace to continue flowing so that it can reach others. Na hiyo kucha itasababisha ile neema iendele kutiririka iwafikia wengine. Four pillars. Guzo ne. Number one. La kwanza. Sensitivity. Kumakinika. When you are sensitive, ukimakinika, you will ask yourself, utajiuliza, when I say this or when I do this, what is this other person going to feel? Nikisema hivi ama nikifanya hivi, huyu mutu mwingine ataisi na mnagani. This is where you become courteous. Hapa nipo unakuwa mtu wa. If you don't know it, refer there. Heshima. Are we together? We have a Kiswahili dictionary there. Tukona kamusi ya Kiswahili hapa. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja. If I say this. Nikisema hivi. If I do this, what is so and so going to feel? In other words, a man of respect, a woman of respect, takes care of the feelings of others. Mwanaume ama mwanamuke wakucha anashugulikia hisia za wengine. Oh yes. Dio. When I'm coming out of the church, I mean the the building. Nikitoka inje ya jengo. There are so many kids there. Kuna watoto wengi pale. They they want me to greet them. Wanataka ni wasalimie. We got up with them very well. Na huwa tunagotana vizuri. Listen to this. Sikiliza. Do you know why? Unajua kwa nini? I am going to have time for them. Nimi nitaenda na, napata nafasi na wao because kwa sababu 
I am asking myself if I just pass by what are they going to feel? Ninachiuliza nikipita tu watahisi namna gani? Look at your neighbor. Muangalie jirani yako. Ask him that. Oh. Eka hebu muulize. When you said that, did you care about what so and so would feel? Wakati ulisema hivyo, je, ulijali vile yule mwingine alikuwa na hisi? When you did that, ulipofanya hivyo, did you care what so and so would feel? Je, ulijali vile fulani na fulani wangalihisi? If we knew this, kama tutafanya hivyo, we would be careful tutamakinika the way we talk vile tunavyozungumza Can I help you? Yeye niwasaidie. Gossips. Masengenyo. Where gossip begins, grace stops right there. Mahali masengenyo huanzia, neema hukomea pale. Because respect is gone, maana kucha kumeondoka and that's it. Imekwishia hapo. The tap is blocked. Basi ile fereji imefungwa. That's how it goes. Kwa inaenda hivyo. That's how it goes. Kwa inaenda hivyo. Number two. La pili. Number one is sensitivity. Ya kwanza ni kumakinika. Number two. La pili. The second pillar of wisdom. Mgu- I mean of, res- of respect is wisdom. Uh, Mguzo ya pili ya kucha ni hekima. Please. Tafadhali. Please. Tafadhali. Even the Bible talks, when it talks about wives, uh, it says wisdom has built her own house. Hata Biblia inapozungumza katika methali nasema hekima imejijengea nyumba yake. Wisdom is the principal thing. A hekima ni jambo kuu. A wise servant will inherit where a son will lose the inheritance. Fanyikazi wa hekima ataridhi mahali mwana angelipoteza urithi wake. That's the Bible. Hiyo ni Biblia. If we are walking in respect, tukitembea katika kucha we will seek wisdom to do what we are doing and to say what we are saying. Tutatafuta hekima ya kufanya yale tunafanya na kusema yale tutayasema. We can be saying a nice thing but if the, it, the, 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 the wisdom is lacking it becomes a bad thing. Tunaweza kusema kitu kama cho kinastahili lakini tukikosa hekima kitakuwa kibaya. We may mean to help Tunaweza kumaanisha kusaidia. But if we miss wisdom, lakini tukikosa hekima, our help, msaada wetu becomes a destroyer. Inakuwa ya uharibifu. Wisdom. Hekima. Wisdom. Hekima. Listen to this. Sikiliza. One of the most important things about wisdom, moja wapo ya vitu muhimu sana kuhusu hekima is we care where so and so is art spiritually tunajali mahali fulani yuko sahi kwa hali ya kiroho yeah ndio number 3 ndo tatu for you and for me to command respect ili wewe na mimi tuamrishe kucha so that the grace can continue to flow ili neema iendelee kutiririka number 3 la tatu is called appreciation ina maanisha ku kudhamini I wish with all my life napenda kwa maisha yangu yote the house of god kwamba nyumba ya bwana would learn the importance of being appreciative na kwamba tungejifunza umuhimu wa kudhamini wengine appreciative kudhamini Can you look at your neighbor and tell him thank you for sitting close to me Hebu mwangalie jirani yako mwambie asante kwa kuketi karibu na mimi
All right, next. Can you tell your neighbor, thank you for smiling at me. I needed that smile. There are two, two major tools that you need to have in life to build skyscrapers in life. Vyombo viwili ambao unahitaji maishani kujenga magorofa makubwa ya maisha ya maisha. In other words to build heights. Yaani kwa maneno mengine kujenga kimo za juu. And you will go very far. Na utaenda mbali. I say this many times. Nasema mara kila mara. I'm going to repeat again. Na nitarudia kusema. One of it is thank you. Ya kwanza ni asante. The second one I'm sorry. Ya pili samahani. If you can have just those two, kama unaweza kuwa na hizo viwili, you will go very far. Utaenda mbali. I'm sorry means you are sensitive. Oh, samahani na maanisha una makinika. I care for your feelings. Ninajali hisia zako. Thank you. Asante means I am appreciative. Na kwamba ninashukuru kwa dhamana. Have you ever known people who never see anything good in anybody? Je, umeona watu ambao hawaoni chochote kizuri ndani ya watu wengine? They are always looking for faults. They are always spying on them. Kila mara wanatafuta makosa. Wanapeleleza kupata makosa. The next thing I want you to know. Ukingida mara nataka ujue? And you know you I know you know this from experience. Na ninajua mmepitia hii mnaifahamu. Those people just move in circles. Hao watu huwa wanaenda tu kwa mviringo. Whether it's ministry, wala iwe ni huduma or in the family, ama kwa jamii, or in business, ama kwa biashara, they move in circles. Wanaenda kwa mviringo. Some people have killed business. Wengine wameharibu biashara, wamepoteza biashara. Because the grace would not grow. Mm. I mean a, a flow maana neema haiwezi kutiririka. God brings customers. Mungu analeta wateja and they look at them na wanawaangalia ka hapo sit there nimalize ile ninafanya let me finish what i'm doing na kama hutaki ende ukanunue pahala pengine and if you don't want to go and buy elsewhere many people have killed churches watu wengi wameua makanisa they have killed families wameua jamii because kwa sababu that element kwamba hiyo uh, that makes you earn their respect ile kiungo that, that element called appreciation ile kiungo ma inaitwa kushukuru kudhamini it's not there haipo it's not there haipo look at your name muulize do you have a family ile jina yako muulize je uko na jamii ask your name muulize jina yako If you want to lose it, take the mother, take the father, take the children for granted. Ukitaka kupoteza hiyo jamii, basi puuza, baba puuza, mama puuza watoto. You will be coming to a, into a lodging and not a home. Utakuwa unaingia kwa kikahawa lakini sio boma. A home is warm. Kwa boma ama nyumbani kuna ile joto. A lodging. Oh goodness. The only thing you'd meet is the mosquito net. Ile hoteli mali pale kitu utakutana nayo ni ile neti ya mbu. Is anybody in this house? Je, yote yuko kwa hii nyumba? If you want to earn their respect, kama unataka kupokea ile kucha kwao, be appreciative. Wewe uwashukuru uwadhamini. Even if it's that small boy, that small girl who brings you a cup. Hata kama ndio kijana mtoto mdogo anakuletea kikombe. The boys volunteers to bring you a shoe. Yaani yule kijana amejitoa kukuletea kiatu. Say thank you. Mwambie asante. Wonderful. Ajabu. Great. Cool. You earn their respect. Wewe utapokea kucha kutoka kwao and the grace will continue to flow. Na neema itaendelea kutiririka. Number four. Na nne. 
Bishop, I'm eating your time. Askofu ni nachukua muda wako. Number four. Nguzo la nne. To earn respect. Ili upoke kucha. Listen to this. Sikiliza. Number four. La nne. Humility. Unyenye kevu. Bulldozers are slow movers. Zile tinga tinga kubwa za kubomoa huwa zinatembea pole pole. If you want to bulldoze people, ukitaka kusukuma watu, you will move very slow. Utaenda pole pole. And you must be prepared Lazima ujiandae to be hurt. Kujeruhiwa. How do we know you are you are moving in the Bible says submit yourself one to another. Biblia inasema mujinyenyekeeni mmoja kwa mwingine. One of the most important things that will tell you that you are walking in humility. Moja wapo ya vitu muhimu ambavyo itakuonyesha kwamba unatembea kwa unyenyekevu, you listen to others. Unawasikiliza wengine. You want to accommodate their views. Unataka kupokea mtazamo wao. You want to move along with them. Unataka kuenda nao kupokea maoni yao. Listen to this. Sikiliza. How many know? Wangapi wanajua? When a vehicle has a trailer, it doesn't move very very fast. Gari likiwa linavutia ile trailer haiwezi kasonga kwa ukasi. Don't drag people. Wewe usiwavurute watu. They will slow you down. Wata uh, uh, rudisha ki, uh, ukasi wako chini. But if they see you are submitted to them. Kini wakiona unawanyenyekea. Listen to this. Sikiliza. That does not mean you are taking all their opinions. Hiyo haimaanishi kwamba unachukua maoni yao yote. But at least you can listen. Lakini angalau unaweza ukasikiliza. And you can sit down with them and you reason out. Na unaweza ukaketi nao na mkajadiliana. You earn their respect. Utapokea kicho yao. Because you appreciate their contribution. Maana unashukuru unadhamini mchango wao. In my ministry. Katika huduma yangu. in my own ministry katika huduma yangu mwenyewe there are two offerings that have changed my lives kuna sadaka mbili ambazo zimebadili badili maisha yangu two mbili just two mbili tu one ya kwanza 1985 mwaka wa 85 kericho high school katika shule ya upili ya kericho I'm, I have preached nimehubiri I had walked from Litein nilikuwa nimetembea kutoka Litein to the road hadi kwa barabara and then from there na kutoka pale I got a lift nika break down lift. break down ile Land Rover ya kuvuruta magari ili arebika to Kericho teachers hadi katika shule ya Kericho teachers as I'm going out now wakati sasa nilikuwa natoka nje and i have a mission in homabay na nilikuwa na mission nyingine kule homabay near the gate karibu na langu one of the students come running mmoja wa wanafunzi anakuja mbio tells me please aniambia tafadhali i don't have much sina mingi but i wanted to buy you a cup of tea lakini nilitaka nikununulie angalau chai and he gave me 20 shilling blue note if you can remember it akanipatia shilingi 20 ile noti ya blue mkikumbuka 
I almost knelt down. Karibu hata nipige magoti. To receive it, ipokea and to bless that girl. Na kumbariki yule msichana. Listen to this. Sikiliza. Proud people don't have time to receive from anybody. Awenye kiburi hawana muda wa kupokea kutoka kwa yeyote. Whether in form of gifts or ideas, labda inaweza kuwa ni wazo ama hata vipawa, they don't have time. Hawana muda. They know it all. Wanajua they have it all. Wanajua yote wako na kila kitu. Second offering. Sadaka ya pili. So when I came to start this church, nilipokuja kuanza hili kanisa, outside there, outside that petrol station there. Inje ile petrol station pale. I don't have money to go back to banana where I used to stay. Sikuwa na pesa ya kurudi banana mali nilikuwa naishi. I to take an offering. Nibidi nichukue nipokee sadaka. I got an offering of 23 shillings and 30 cents. Nikapokea sadaka ya shilingi 23 na senti 30. That is what has built this work. Hiyo ndiyo imejenga hii kazi. This one. Hii. This one. Hii. Is anybody hearing me? Je yote ananisikia? Is anybody hearing me? Je yote ananisikia? Is anybody hearing me? Je yote ananisikia? One time I'm walking from Kanunga. You remember the the road we used to pass. Moja wakati moja ni crusade. Nitembea kutoka Kanunga baada ya mkutano wa hadhara. Listen to this. Sikiliza. In those days, siku zile by 6 all the matatus to banana would cease from here. Kwa sababu ya mikora. Saa 12 matatu zote za banana zilikuwa zimekwisha hapa. So, the last stop was Kanunga. Um, uh, uh, kikomo cha mwisho ilikuwa ni pale Kanunga. I'm, uh, I'm now I've been dropped by a matatu. Sasa nimeachwa pale na matatu. And then an old rugged guy comes. Alafu mzee mmoja amevaa ni uh, chakari ana, uh, anakuja he, he is not a young man yes, kijana, and he is not well dressed vizuri. he comes close to me Akanikaribia. Akanibia, unaenda wapi? he asked me where are you going he said and he can, uh, sema, I, I must go to banana. Sema, lazima niende banana he tells me Kanyabia. I want to walk you a distance nataka nitembe na wewe kidogo because this road is not the best. Kwa sababu hii njia hii barabara sio nzuri sana. So we are walking with this man. Tunatembea na huyu mtu. He is not fast. Yeye haendi kwa haraka. Amen. Amen. That time walking was my joy. Wakati ule kutembea ilikuwa ni kazi yangu nilikuwa naenda kwa haraka. So we are walking together. Tunatembea pamoja. I, I, Inside me, I know he is slowing me down. But at the same time, there is something telling me, submit to this man. Listen to what he is saying. Walk with him. And we walked. He volunteered to walk with me until I was very close to Banana. Hadi nikakaribia sana banana. And then he told me, Kisha kaniambia, from here, kutoka hapa, I know you are safe. Najua uko salama. Let me go back. Wacha nirudi. Let me tell you. Wacha ni kuambie. Are you ready? Jie muko tayari? 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 Proud people never walk far with anybody. Wenye kiburi, awaendi mbali na yeyote. Because they will not submit. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
Are you ready? Jee mko tayari. Are you ready for God to restore honor and respect in your walk? Jee mko tayari Mungu kurejesha heshima na ile kicho katika mtembeo wenu. Because with that kwa sababu mkiwa na hayo the apostolic grace will continue to flow neema ya kitume itaendelea kutiririka and it will reach the nations through you na itafikia mataifa kupitia wewe i'll say that again nitarudia kusema that honor your heshima that respect hiyo kichwa makucha will allow that apostolic grace to flow itaruhusu ile neema ya kitume kutiririka listen to this sikiliza and that way na hiyo you will go farther than anybody else na utaenda mbali kuliko wengine wote it's a fact ni kweli ronald stand up ronald si mama That young man, huyo kijana, that one. Huyo has written a book on fathers. Ameandika kitabu kuhusu baba. But more than the book, na zaidi ya hiyo kitabu, he is the walking message. Yeye ni ujumbe unaotembea. If you go to Majengo, ukienda Majengo, his church was right next to the road. Kanisa lake lilikuwa karibu na barabara. And the few times I've been going there, na mara chache nimekuwa nikipitia pale, I've been prophesying over his life. Nimekuwa nikitabiri maisha ni mwake. He came here, akaja hapa, I released land for him. Nikaachilia shamba kwake. Because they wanted to buy something next to the church. Maana walitaka kununua kitu karibu na kanisa. Let me show you the way the apostolic grace flows. Wacha nikwambie jinsi neema ya kitume inatiririka. As I'm talking, ninapozungumza, he has two acres of land. Ako na ekari mbili ya shamba. For the church, ya kanisa. And watch this. Na angalia hii. The neighbors, majirani are being affected by that grace. Wanaathirika na ile neema. They are coming they are calling him wanamtafuta and they are asking him when are you buying mine unanunua yangu lini and do you think he will buy mnafikia atanunua big time atanunua kwa kweli do you think he will build je unafikia atajenga big building atajenga mijengo mikubwa We are not saying something. We are not talking about something that doesn't work. Hatuzungumzi kitu ambacho hakifanyi kazi. Stand up I pray for you. Simama mimi tuone. Bishop I may I may disorganize a little bit. Askofu naweza nikakupangua. I want to flow. Nataka mtiririko. I want flow. Nitatiririka. What I need, what I want. Ile naita. Nahitaji ni mtiririko. We need to salute all the, those people who are in the annex. Tuna heshima uh, wote ambao wako kule kwa annex. It's coming there. Inafika pale coming there na kuja pale we want to worship tunataka kuabudu but i want you to hear me nataka munisikilize that blockage will be something of the past ile kifunike iliyofunga itakuwa ni jambo ambalo ni la kale is from the chief apostle is from us it's down the overseers down to the pastors to the leaders to the members of our church i declare by the word of god we rebuke that curse the hearts of the fathers will come back to the children 
the hearts of the children go back to the fathers. Yeah, watoto tarudia kina baba. And that curse. Iyo laana will be rebuked. Ita kemeo. I am rebuking that curse. Ina kemea iyo laana right now. So sahivi. I'm rebuking that curse. Ina kemea iyo laana. I rebuke that curse. Ina kemea iyo laana in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Bishop, give me your overseers. Scope nipe wa angalizi wa maeneo. Let them make a line here. Matengeneze mstari hapa. Give us worship. Tutie ibada. Mighty man of war. Together with your wife. Together with your wife, if you came with her. I declare flow. I declare flow. 
I declare flow. Unhindered flow. Unhindered flow. Unhindered flow. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Flow! My God. My God. Shandara Baranaku. Shindara Baranaku. Shandara Baranaku. My God. Shandara Baranaku. Rebe Shaka. Yes, Lord. My God. Jesus, yes, soaking it. I declare, never again will it not reach our children. Never again will it not reach our children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. If you come. On it. Jesus. Let them, have, let them help you. And you do what I did. Don't touch anybody. Let it flow over their heads. We, we declare, declare tunatangaza. never again. Come with never again. Come with never again. Come with we let be hindered. To reach our children in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Don't lay hands on them. I want to flow in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Right now. Right now. Church. Church. Pray. 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 In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus,
Hold on. Bishop, we'll pray for these people. Just wait. Just wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Can we all sit down for a minute? We'll pray for you. That we can go. About to Neza to Kapitia. One way is to go for that cup of tea. The other way is Bishop, presiding Bishop comes, finishes with what he is doing, and every single overseer you pick your pastors and your leaders. Kila mwangalizi wa eneo utachukua wachungaji wako na viongozi wako. And then kisha if you want to go to the powerhouse utaka kwenda kwa chumba cha maombi we, we will have more anointing oil. You will organize we have tons of bottles of anointing oil. Utakuwa na mafuta mengi ya kupaka. Are we together? Yet to pamoja. Every overseer kila mwangalizi wa eneo it is better if it is now flowing from you. Afadhali iaze kutirika kutoka kwako to your pastors and also to your leaders. Kwa wachungaji wako na pia kwa viongozi wako. Inatiririka namna hii. That it flow like this. That's why I'm not so much I, the instructions I have is not to lay hands on you. Diposa maagizo niko nayo si ya kuwawekelea mikono. Is that thing to flow? Ni hiyo kitu itiririke. And I would think bishop with, with this anointing the kind of grace in the house you come finish with whatever you want and uh, then every overseer will take their the pastor their pastors their leaders we even have halls down here and uh, it can be open for you. Tu kuna so you, you, you go to different places. And don't be in a hurry. Na na haraka. Pray for your people. Ombea watu wako. Let them leave this place full of that apostolic grace. Wacha waondoke mali hapa wamejawa na hiyo nema ya kitume. And take with them home. Na wa ibede wa By nubani. the time we meet in June. You will tell me what will have happened. Bishop, please. Praise God. Praise God. Let's all be seated, please. So to get it for the early. Last year as we were finishing the year, mwaka jana tulipokuwa tukimaliza mwaka, I felt in my spirit that there will be a lot of uh, establishment kutakuwa na kudhibitika kwingi in the word of faith church. Katika kanisa la neno la imani. Things that we just talked about vitu ambavyo tulivizungumzia tu shall become a reality. Yatakuwa halali. And that God is this year, God will ground us more in Mwaka His things. And I've not come with my iPad because some quite a number of the things I would want to share with you. Bishop has shared with us. I confirm it in my spirit. That we have direction. Let us be established in honor. Let our ministry be a ministry that moves in honor. And let's respect one another. Na tuwe na ile kucha ama kicho kwa mo, kila moja kwa mwingine. Respect is reciprocal. A ile eh, kicho inaenda kuwili. Whoever you respect will respect you. Unae uh, mweshimu ama ile kicho inae pia takueshimu. It's very different from honor. Ni tofauti na ile heshima. Whom you respect to respect you. Unae mkucha, nae pia takukucha. As you do that, unapofanya hivyo, you earn. 
wewe unaifanyia kazi na kupokea. The Lord told us that he's going to establish us this year. Bwana akatuambia atatudhibitisha mwaka huu. As a word of faith. Kama kanisa la word of faith. And uh, when I when I when I look in this house. Na ninapoangalia katika nyumba hii. And look at what is happening. Angalia yale yanayotendeka. The, the one that's establishing goes beyond because within it you'll find things like establishments. You're talking about estates. You're talking about many things. It talks about buildings. It means your ministry, you move in it so well and eloquently. And I'm so glad what Bishop said because all the gifts that we need anywhere in the world are right now in this house, not outside. Now in this house right now. They are here. But now God is going to really establish us on those things. Paul was established in apostolic ministry. In this ministry, we haven't talked so much about apostolic. But the grace in this ministry of the apostolic is so high. And God is going to establish us in that ministry. And we are not only to be the two of us. God is going to help us. We want to transform or to help you uh, so much to go to the, to the apostolic. Most of you overseers and pastors, you will go into fatherhood. Those things are going to be very, very common. The grace that is in this house is so high. If we just understand what we have had this morning, this will take us for years. What we've had this morning is going to take us for years. Several years. Several years. If you have time, read. Soma Genesis chapter 26 Mwanzo sura ni 26 That was where my message was coming from If I was to share with you And when you read those things Just fill in what bishop has shared with us here The next level of of this from us to the overseers. God is going to get you into a place where the enemy will fear you more than he feared us. That is why he said this is what we have done. There are people here who have churches that will surprise the world. If you read those verses and you put actualize them, put these things we had today, they will fit in very well. Honor is there. Isaac did not name the wells he got by his own names. He gave the names the father had given them. So it was very easy. And because of that, he planted in a dry land and he watered. He watered the, 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 the crops by his own, by the water, by the wells the father had. My prayer today for you that anything the enemy has closed in our lives as fathers because of jealousy of anything may it be open in your days. I will say again May the Lord open it in your days. 
And you may not open it yourself. The people who are under you will open it for you. That means when that flow is there, they will say you did it. But no. It's your children who will have done it. May the church members that you lead be so strong enough and open wells in your life, in the life, in your area that you will not have done it yourself. Your ministry, you are, as a family, let, let there be an opening to a level whereby the king of the Philistine had to come and say I want to make peace with you. You are stronger than me. You are stronger than us. I leave you with that message. May you be so strong that you are enemies will want to seek peace with you. 2018 this year those that stood against you shall not have enough energy to rival you. They will not have enough energy. They will be tired before you reach the end. In the name of Jesus. And the springs that began to flow surprised everybody. May the Lord establish us in the land in which he has given us. Because the enemy would say they are not like they, they are not traveled like Bishop Thomas. They are not maybe as favored as Bishop Isaac. They don't look like they have that stage. But the grace in the house is the same. Your size may be small, but you have the same grace. I will say it again. You may be in such a remote place. Turkana, dodol. Turkana, kule dondo. But the grace on this house. In this ministry. Hu, is going to operate in that place. Kufanya kazi mahali pale. I say, let me say it again the second time. It is going mate. to function in that place. That is the word the man of God has said here. The churches you people are going to have. There will be so, so much big compared to us fathers. It will be like Nazar school. It's because the grace is coming on your life. You don't look like you qualify. But God is going to qualify you. I said he's going to qualify you. 2018. When we meet in June in Mbale. May you come with testimonies. I said, may you come with testimonies. Come with testimonies. The grace on this house. You have already tapped in it. I said, you have already tapped in that grace. You are going to flow in that grace. You are not going to struggle anymore. You will do more than we have done. And that is not an encouragement. That is the truth of the word of God. We are not bluffing you. Isaac was a small bodied man. But when you look at his wealth, it does not match. It, it, the, the one of Abraham does not match it. He was feared than Abraham. Feared. The young man was feared. 
God told him, Mungu akamwambia, Don't go anywhere. Popote. I'm going to bless you where you are. Kubariki, mali ulipo. If you are in Turkana, Ukiwa Turkana, if you are in Doldo, Ukiwa Dondo, if you are in Tanzania, Ukiwa Tanzania, if you are in Mombasa, Ukiwa Mombasa, if you are in Western Kenya, Ukiwa ya Magaribi, if you are in Nyanza, Ukiwa Nyanza, God is going to bless you in that place. Mungu atakubariki mali pale. 2018, Mungu you will be established in that Utazi place. Mali pale. You will be established in that area. That is what is on this house right Leo now. Iko kwa nyumba sasa hivi. And I'm telling you right now. Na nina sasa hivi. It is already done. Tayari imetendeka. With the grace that has been released here. Na inema with hapa. the oil that has been released on us. Na imafuta imeachiliwa juu yetu. It multiplies with generation. Inajumulika kwa vizazi. As it reaches you. Inapokufikia. It is more. Inajumulika zaidi. It has been multiplied. Inajumulika. Abraham. Abraham. Has one son. Ana mwana moja. Isaac. Isaac. Has two sons. Ana wana wawili. Jacob. Yakobo. Has twelve sons. Ana wana kumi na wawili. That means when it reaches you, it has been multiplied. What you have received here is not the same measure with us. What the man of God has released here, when it reached you, it's multiplied. You will be established. If you are a businessman, you are established. If you are a pastor, may you be established. Where they don't want you, may you begin to rule there. May by the wisdom that you are told here today begin to rule. Because the Bible says by me wisdom Kwa mimi hekima, the kings rule. They reign. You can rule kwa or you can reign. Ama kwa you, you rule Una, um, when the, when the opposition is very high. And you reign. When everybody accepts you. Both of the things. Is going to happen in your life. They that accept you. And they that oppose you. It makes no difference. The wisdom that has been released in your life. The spirit of wisdom. That you have received. That you have tapped in. The beginning of this year, by the end of it, you will see the rule that has been established. Your houses are going to be furnished because of that knowledge, because of that wisdom, because of that spirit. As it goes, as you go home, let your house be furnished, let your church be furnished. Let your own house in home be furnished. Let your wife be furnished. Let your husband be furnished. Let your children be furnished. By the grace that has been released here, let it begin to work in your life. Day in and day out. It is not you, but the grace on your life, the favor on your life, the blessing on your life. Anywhere you see word favor, it can be interchanged by grace and another word is blessing. So blessing is favor, blessing is grace. May you have them in your life. May the Lord use, have you move in that grace. In that grace, Jacob received did not ask grace now. By the time it reaches to Jacob, it was a law. Abraham was a blessing. Isaac was an oath. When it reaches to Moses, to, Je to Jacob, it is a law. What we have struggled, what God has given us is grace, as it reaches you, it is now law. You will be blessed. We will be blessed by force. Even if you don't want, this thing is coming your way. It's 
is coming your way. I said it is coming your way. It's coming your way. In the name of Jesus. When David worked so hard and is blessed, Solomon did not work anything. The connection that is the difference between Adonijah, Absalom, and the rest. They didn't honor the father. But Solomon was always there. He was getting wisdom. He was getting understanding. He honored the father. And when it comes, you will not labor. He was just receiving gifts from Africa all over the way. May you begin to receive what we labored for. You are going to get it free. You are going to get it free. I said you're going to get it free. The apostles, the eleven. They suffered with Jesus for three and a half years. But from there, he that comes, he didn't struggle. He got it by grace. His name is Paul. And he went everywhere. He did more than everybody else. May it begin to work in your life. And that's why some of you, I want to tell you by the grace of God, don't expect us to go and start ministry in India. May an anointing of an apostolic move come over your life. Start a church in, in, in Pakistan. Start a church in, 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 in those sides of the Caribbean. Go to South America. Start churches. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Abraham, when Abraham went to Egypt, he was suffering. He wanted something to eat. But when, Je when Jacob went there, he didn't go there as a beggar. He was a father to Pharaoh. Baba wa Pharaoh. He was given the best place and he stayed. He, the, the son was controlling everything. Where we have gone begging. May you go there as a ruler. May you go there as a ruler. Amen. May you go there and rule. We shall not be hiding with Sarah. We are hiding with Sarah. And we are cheating. This is my sister. Here is my wife. When you go there, you will go there with Leah. And you are not worried. You are going in chariots. You are going on chariots. You don't pay your own airfare. You are not paying for your money to go there. A chariot is sending you away. It comes in your family. And yours is just to go. That's all you do. Are you hearing the grace on the house? This man's life is going to go to 90. Because now he's not going to be worried. He will see sons all over. And his life is rejuvenated. Today, Leo, he, today, Leo, just as Isaac, Isaac Kisera said, marks the beginning of your rising. The word you have received here is putting wings on you. It is a propeller on your life. It's a propeller on your life. Don't think that this man was preaching or teaching. He was releasing direction and a prophetic word for your life.
I was in Nigeria when I went there in 1990. He prayed for me. I left here. I went to Nigeria. This man. And we had agreed when I come back, I'll come here to stand with him and assist in the work that was here. Because this work was just supposed to be a base for us to reach. When I went back, when I was there, Bishop, Archbishop Benson in the house would stand. As Benson in the house, and he would look back. And they would tell uh, Oyedi boss, stand up, my son, stand up. No, he wouldn't say stand up. He was just talking to him. And the moment he names my son Oyedi boss, the man would stand. And he would forget Oyedipo behind him is standing. And he would preach for around 20 minutes. But he realizes the eyes are facing this side. So he faces there. Then he tells Oyedipo, My son, sit down. You are still standing. When he was dying, he called Oyedipo. He went with him in his room. Full of money. He said, take some. He told Oyedebo. No, Oyedebo told him, Papa. I just want you to show me how to get it. Because if you give me this, all this, it will be finished. And I will not get it again. Show me the way to get it. Today, Leo, you have received the way. Not only the thing, but you have known the way now. If I, if I can recommend something, make sure you order the CD of today that was taught here today. Listen to it every day. You have gotten what money cannot give. Me, I've already, in my mind, I've made up my mind. That is my CD to listen to every day. That's how, show me the way to get it. Tap into the grace. Tap into this thing. Everlasting river is flowing in your life. Raise your hand, stand up. If you are sitting down, I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have heard the voice of our Father that you have given us in this ministry. Every house has a builder. Moses built his house. Jesus has built us as a house. And word of faith as a house has building. And we thank you about the man that you gave to us and the grace on his life. We release it on the overseers, all the pastors, and the members, as many as will come under the umbrella of word of faith. May they benefit from this grace. May they benefit from this grace. Anybody connected to us, let them enjoy what is in our world. This is what we are. Because of what you have made us. We thank you Lord for what has happened. And what has just started that will continue to happen. We plead the blood of Jesus. On everybody here. No instance, no accident is allowed on these people. In the name of the Father. Of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We love you.